Hi ladies, um, today is Thursday the 9th of April and today is the day whether we find out if we're pregnant and I cannot express how absolutely terrified I am about this phone call. Part of me doesn't even want to hear the news <laughs> um, because no news is better than bad news. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty hard to express the emotion of today. I didn't sleep very well, um, kind of just the anticipation of today. The blood test went fine. I worked half a day and then I got my hair done this afternoon. And yeah, it's just been, I thought today would feel so different. I thought I'd be really excited and really um, keen and, and happy. And instead I just feel terrified that the results are going to be bad or um that they'll say you're pregnant but but um your levels aren't very high or something along that line and it's just not going to be what we're hoping for i wasn't very smart on monday i took a pregnancy test and of course it was negative I took one on Tuesday again and it was negative and that has really put this real big doubt in my mind. If you are in the two week wait from a embryo transfer, please do not be stupid like me and take a test. Don't do it. It is not worth it because it just casts this doubt in your mind that doesn't need to be there. Anyway. I rang the fertility clinic this morning and asked them to please call at about 4.30 to make sure that I would be with Mike when um, we receive the call, when we get the call. Uh, I didn't want to be alone. And if it is exciting news, I want to be able to share it with share that moment with him. <sighs> but I just don't know how to feel. I, I feel sick to my stomach. It's almost, it feels like when, like you go to school and you haven't done your homework and you know you're going to get in trouble or just like this awful gut-wrenching tight ball in my stomach. Um, it's awful. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Melissa. Speaking. Hi, Melissa. My name's Nina. I'm one of the nurses on the plan. Hi, Nina. Hi, Melissa, I'm just calling with your blood results from today. Yes. Um, unfortunately, it's come back. You have had a blood result come back of 19, so it is measuring a level of the HPG, but it's, it's quite a, low, a lower than normal level than we would expect. Okay. In stage of pregnancy. Um, so I think what we would probably want to do now is get you to have another blood test done on Monday or possibly Tuesday at the very latest. Okay. Um, just to see what is happening there. Um, we, yeah, we would suspect that it would maybe be going down. Um, but, but we, we just need to monitor it and just be sure. Um, so would you be okay? Yeah, it's, it's not good news, but it's, it's not, it's still definitely picking up the levels. We still, we just need to kind of watch and see, wait and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> It's just like I just had a lot of breast tenderness and stuff, um, oh, okay. and some cramp cramping and, okay. and things. Yeah. But yeah, which can kind of mean anything. Really. Yeah, exactly. Um, Okay. Okay. Well, we'll speak to you again on 
It's not the end of the road. <laughs> Hi everyone. So that happened. It was a pretty hard thing to hear. Um, but today is a new day and we're going to move on. And we're going to keep positive. We're going to pray and hope that Emmy sticks and that on Monday our results will be better and that things will be okay and if they're not then we try again next month um, but basically we gave ourselves last night to grieve and be upset and hurt and cry and just feel everything that that phone call would make you feel and um, and then today we decided today was the day to pick ourselves up and to be positive and hope and pray for the best so your prayers and your your hope and love would just be mean the world to me right now and to my family um, last night we told my brother and my dad that we'd done the embryo transfer um, and I gave my dad the gift that I was going to give him to tell him that we were pregnant because even though it was hard news, we still wanted to celebrate that we got to this point. And also because we need each other to support one another. And it would have been pretty hard to um, be around each other this weekend and not have moments like this and not be able to say why we're hurting. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sorry if this hurts people or if this is hard to watch for people, but I wanted to share this experience with you, the good and the bad, the things that are easy to do, the things that are happy and the things that are really hard. So don't feel bad for us. Just pray for us and be there for us because that's all we can do for each other, right? Um, I'll do another update on Monday. Love you girls.